Hi folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play a very, very, very old game called Ants. Uh, this is a, a game that I used to play when I was younger, and it was freeware at the time, so you can download and play it for free, and it's still uh, freeware now, as you can see right here. It says freeware right under the name. Um, I'm using, uh, by the way, the NVIDIA Shadow Play uh, video recorder and uh, it uses a variable frame rate so on occasion my voice may desync from the actual video if that happens I apologize but anyway here's a look at what you get whenever you start up the game you can choose your language English or Czech blacks reds two players or demo uh, this is basically you're choosing single player you can be the black or red ants you can also play two players, which is what we're going to do today, so I can show you uh, back and forth how the game is played. And then there's full screen and infinite game toggles. I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Alright, so uh, this is the game. Hopefully it's going to show up right in uh, YouTube and in my Windows uh, um Okay, so here we are. Um, basically, you've got two sides, again, the black ants and the red ants. If you look in the upper left-hand corner, in the upper right-hand corner, uh, you can see the number zero there. And basically, you're trying to grow your tower uh, to 100, I believe, or your castle to 100, while at the same time trying to destroy your enemy's castle. If you happen to get your tower to 100 first, you win, or if you destroy your enemy's castle first, you win. Now, each player is dealt cards at the very beginning of the game, and you can see there's eight of them here. Uh, you've also got three different resources. You've got builders, soldiers, and uh, magi. They're, I don't, know, I don't know how to pronounce that, Mag, magi or magi. It's sort of like mages. But anyway, um, you've also got uh, castle and fence. Basically, castle is your hit points. Well, think of fences as shields. Um, as you take damage, this fence will go down first and then the castle will start taking hits uh, should you get attacked. So um, every turn you get the number of builders or soldiers or magi along the top here. Uh, each player starts with a default of two, and then the bottom number is how many bricks, weapons, and crystals you actually have. And on the top of these cards is the actual cost of playing them. So in order for me to use this rider, which is an attack of four, um, I have to uh, give up two weapons here. So let's say I go ahead and play that right now. So two weapons will be subtracted from this five here and I'll end up with three. And the attack of four will take four away from his fence. Again, any attacks will go against his fence first and then his castle. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that. So you can see that. And now uh, Red gets to make his move. Now there is sound to this, but I have it turned off. There's ambient noise in the background, uh, crickets chirping, and it's very loud. And it's just, it's, there's no way to turn it down. So I'd just turn all the sound off, unfortunately. You're not missing much. Okay, uh, so it's Red's turn. So Red has seven bricks, seven weapons, and seven crystals. You get uh, a tick uh, every time or on your turn. Uh, your uh, builder, soldiers, and magi will uh, produce the amount of uh, bricks, weapons, or crystals, respectively, based on that number here. And now he has seven to work with. So he might play, say, a fence, which costs one brick. And that'll bring his fence up by three. And you can even see it physically displayed here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do... Um, let's go ahead and... I guess we'll do conjure crystals. So basically I'm giving up four crystals to produce four crystals. Uh, because I get eight crystals after spending four. Alright, so I got more crystals now. Uh, now it's Red's turn again. He's going to play an archer and attack my fence. Minus two to that. Um, again, I'm just thinking off the top of my head. Uh, let's go ahead and crush enemy weapons. Uh, minus eight to enemy weapons. So now he has zero to work with. So he's got to let that tick up for a while, uh, weapons. But he's got a lot of bricks and a lot of crystals. Um, he can go ahead and do Wayne, which is castle plus eight and enemy castle minus four. So castle gets taken away from me and castle gets added to his. And you can see his is starting to go up. Mine's starting to go down. Well, I don't, I don't know if I want to say mine or his, but I'm going to assume I'm blacks and uh, I'll let my uh, quote-unquote opponent, myself, uh, be red. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and increase the number of uh, builders I get. I love these cards. Um, basically, every tick is now I'll get three bricks instead of two. So you can increase the amount of uh, resources you get per turn uh, if you get certain cards. He's got this recruit here, uh, which allows him to get an extra soldier every turn, uh, but he doesn't have enough weapons for that yet. He has four, so he has to stick with something like, I don't know, castle, or yeah, he'll stick the castle, just because he, he, it seems to be a win for him. If he can get this up to, I think it's 100, I think. 
I could be wrong about that. It might be higher. I don't remember what the number is. But I know that once you reach a certain point, you win. Um, let's see. It's been so long since I've played this, and I just downloaded it. So I'm sort of like stuck in nostalgia mode. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just increase my base. Bring that up a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and conjure weapons for the reds. That way he can start recruiting. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a mag magi plus one. So now I can produce an extra crystal every turn. He's going to go ahead and recruit. Get an extra soldier. I will go ahead and... Um, I guess I'll attack. That does 12 damage, and that'll bring his uh, fence out, uh, take his fence out completely, and knock his castle back down to 37 again. Um, and then I'll, or he'll do, he'll do attack himself, knock my fence out, bring it down to 24 castle-wise. Um, and you can't see each other's cards either. Uh, that's just something to note. I'm gonna go ahead and play a defense card here, bring my fence back up. It doesn't matter how high your fence is, it just matters how high your castle is in terms of winning the game. Um, he'll go ahead and play a rider and attack me. Bring down my fence again. Um, let's go ahead and just play this, bring my castle up. He doesn't have a lot of choices at the moment. He'll play a uh, fence. Bring that up. And as the blacks, I'll play uh, plus 8 castle, minus 4 enemy castle. There we go. So the blacks are starting to catch up to the reds here, castle-wise. Um, he'll play a rider and try and knock me back down to size. Um, I could, he can, no, I can play a saboteur, which is uh, minus four enemy stocks. I don't know if I want to play that, just because he's got a lot of crystals, and I mean, he's got a lot of resources, so that might be worthless at this point. So maybe I'll do an archer, or actually, let's just do a base and bring our castle up. All right, he's got a fence uh, plus twenty-two. That's awesome. So his, yeah, his. Now it's going to take me a lot to get through that and attack him. So this platoon card I was planning to play is not going to work very well. So maybe I'll just concentrate on building up my own base and try and get higher than him. Um, I guess he'll conjure some bricks because he's running low. Um, I've got a lot of saboteur cards. I guess I'll play a saboteur just to get rid of some of. Well, actually, I'll. Yeah, let's do the saboteur. Maybe that'll mess him up a bit more. Um, maybe he'll do a knight and attack me. Bring my castle down. And... I think he'll... Actually, as the blacks, I will use... See, if I use the platoon, it's just going to knock his fence from 28 to 22. So, like, attacking at this point is kind of silly. I think I'll conjure some bricks. If I can get that Babylon card going, that'd be awesome. Uh, I think he'll conjure some bricks as well. He's not worried about building up a fence anymore, but... Alright, now I can play this fort and gives me a castle plus 20, or I can wait, let my bricks build up even more, and get this ba and play this Babylon card, and I'll get 32. Um, I'll go ahead and play the fort just to get rid of some of these cards here. I'm up to 53. Um, the thief will transfer enemy stocks. Oh, he's going to go ahead and play that. So he gets minus 5 on my black side, and then plus 5 to all resources on the red side. All right, as the blacks, I will play the base card. And as the reds, he will play, I guess, let's do fort. He can start building up. And again, well, these are all attack cards. I guess I'll play this one. It's not going to do much against this fence, but um, he'll go ahead and conjure some weapons. That banshee is really, really nasty, 32 attack. That'll knock me down, right down. So I think I'll play, oh, not knowing that, I'll go ahead and play, I, like the blacks, you're not supposed to see the red cards and the reds, you're not supposed to see the black cards. But I'll go ahead and play a fence like he did, just to give myself some type of defense. Um, you can also play this uh, reserve card, castle plus eight fence minus four. He'll go ahead and do that, just to, I mean, that takes away from his fence, but his castle is now up to 61, which is good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and conjure some, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to conjure weapons, but that's okay. Um, SWAT, minus 10 enemy castle. That bypasses the fence, which is really nice. Uh, okay, he'll go ahead and... Yeah, I'm going to conjure some weapons. And then the reds will, I guess, attack, try and knock me out. As the blacks, I will do another builder. Now I've got four uh, bricks per turn, as opposed to the two that I originally started the game with, which is nice. Um... 
And this continues on and on until somebody wins. Um, I will go ahead and play that card. This gives me an extra soldier. I mean, you have to give up resources to play those cards, and it takes a little bit of time. But over the, if, if you can survive long enough to where these extra resources that you're getting per turn can start to matter. Like right now, the black side is producing 4, 3, and 3, as opposed to the reds 2, 3, and 2. And that's builders, soldiers, and magi, respectively. But, um, yeah, if, if the blacks can hold out long enough, um, he'll out-resource the reds. Whereas the reds is in a better position right now, castle-wise. Um... So he's going to try and knock out black as quickly as possible, if that's, yeah. So let's go ahead and do the uh, Conjure Bricks. And I will play the Saboteur card. Try to take resources away from him. And then the reds will do Conjure Crystals. He's got 36 now, that's a lot. Um, wow, another builder. So I've got five builders now, so I'm going to get five bricks per turn. The blacks will anyway. Um... He'll do, um, crush weapons. There you go. Got a lot of crystals. You might as well use them. Um, I will play a knight and try to knock down his fence a bit. He can do, as the reds, wow, pixies, huh? Castle plus 22. All right, now he's up to 83. Um, I need to knock him down the size, the blacks, that is. So I'm going to go ahead and play an archer, try and knock this fence down. I have no weapons, unfortunately. Um, he'll go ahead and conjure, actually no, he'll go ahead and build more castle here. I will play the fort card and try and get up myself, there we go. Red is winning the castle game right now. He's going to conjure some bricks so he can maybe get to Babylon here on his next turn. Um, I don't have a lot of choice. <laughs> It's either a base or a wall. So I'll go ahead and play the base. I've got all high cards. Babylon, Babylon, Babylon. He's going to go ahead and play Babylon himself. He's got a lot of uh, resources. He could play this builder, but he wants to try and win the game. 117. So red ended up winning the game, despite the fact that blacks had more resources going for him over the course of time. But red won the game. Uh, you saw a little ant up here right above the red castle. So, yeah, that's basically how the game was played. And again, red could have won by knocking black out of the game by reducing his castle down to zero. So there you go. That is ants. Um, I'll try and include a download link to where I downloaded this from in case you want to try it for yourself. It's a free download. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.